focus on things that you can control. Because if you're worrying about something, ask yourself some questions. Can you control the thing that you're worrying about? If the answer to that question is yes, then do something about it. If the answer to that question is no, then don't worry because there's nothing you can do about it. It's that simple. You know, pretty simple logic. You know, worrying, worrying is a useless emotion. It, it's, it serves no purpose. Not only that, it actively depletes resources that can be used to actually have an impact on actionable solutions. You know, that worrying, you know, it's not like it's just a free lunch. No that actively affects your ability to critically think about your situation in a way that you can change it. So, focus on the things that you have control over and literally don't worry about the things that you don't have control over. Like I said, whether or not you're worrying about it doesn't change the fact that you literally have no control over it. It's, it's, it's out of your control. By definition, necessarily, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, worrying is it's like one of those residual evolu evolutionary adaptations that may have served a purpose in the past, may or may not but now for sure it definitely doesn't serve a purpose and is actually harmful. It's like one of those things where you know, there's no real part of your brain that really is, can rationally uh, predict or estimate what will happen in the future. So there's this anxiety and you know that's when people start to worry but it's pretty useless you know, it's this thing that there's like this cognitive bias I guess you would call it where a person that you know separates things that they have some type of tangible control over and everything else that they have no little to no or no control over and they wholly focus on the things that they actually have a tangible impact on and actually have some control over they focus all of their resources into that and focus none of their resources on the things they can't control and that person is often in society looked at as crazy or weird, you know. It's like, why is that weird? That seems to me to be the more rational way to go about it. You know? It's like people, I don't know, it's like they think worrying, it, worrying is some sort of virtue, you know, it like it's, like they get some type of, you know, points for it or something, I don't know, but that's not the case, you know, but, uh, you know, that person is seen as, hmm, like they're uptight or maybe you know, OCD or neat freak or you know a prude whatever you want to call it why is that hmm. why is that 
taking the counterintuitive approach as opposed to the the intuitive approach oh when you, when you're overwhelmed with something and you're unsure of the future implications and consequences of that thing you know you start to get butterflies in your stomach and you start to feel jittery and anxious and you start to worry you know what if this happens what if that happens And that process circumvents your ability to rationalize and, you know, form a, you know, efficient cognition, really. So like I said, worrying has a tangible effect on your ability for your brain's cognition. theirs so the person that puts all their resources towards the things that they can't control and none of them towards the things they can't control is either seen as like a prude or neat freak you know crazy weird or apathetic like they don't care you know but that's not the case because just that it's just that they've acknowledged that a more efficacious way to use your resources would be to put it towards things you can actually control and impact. You know, you know being proactive. You know, you know that saying, an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure or treatment, whatever the saying is. Well, yeah, that makes sense. You know, why would you wait until the thing that is statistically likely to happen comes to bite you in the ass than to you know, prepare for it? by putting resources toward things that have a tangible impact on that thing instead of worrying and being sad about the things that you have no control over. I mean, it sounds pretty simple. It sounds insultingly simple that's because it is it is that simple you know a lot of things in life are people just like to overcomplicate things because for well, various reasons I guess but yeah also I have to preface that with this that belief is a big part of this because knowledge is a subset of belief. You know, before you know whether something is true or not, you believe it. You believe it, right? So, and you believe based off whatever convinces you or, you know. But if you were to believe that something is in your control whether or not you know that you're more likely to do something actionable that is probably going to contribute towards solving whatever your problem is whereas on the contrary if you believe that something is out of your control you're likely your actions are likely to reflect that because you're probably less likely to do actions that would solve that problem. So belief, yeah, belief is uh, a big part of that. Really, one of the key points, if not 
the key point of, of this is to point out that worrying is there's no function for it there's no pragmatic use for it I'm not saying that you're a bad person because you're worrying because it's just a natural automatic intrinsic human response I'm not saying that I'm just saying to be more mindful that when you are worrying to you know keep that rational logical mind more present you know that things like things that help with those types of situations are you know things like meditation and you know just being more mindful in general because they'll help in those stressful situations so it's yeah, just being more mindful about within those stressful situations that I'm worrying about this thing is there something that I can do to help me solve this problem you know just that simple thought process alone I feel that it had helped tremendously uh, you know, just a pragmatic approach to a situation that I'm pretty sure every human that has ever existed has come across and experienced.